Hey, what's going on? My name is Nick Zizi from UnleashYourZebra.com. Today we're going to be talking about four questions that you should ask your parents in order to improve your relationship. Please do share this message with the teens in your life today. I want to share with you a great resource that we have to that's for teens. It's a free resource that's loaded with tips and strategies to help accelerate your success. So stay till the end of today's uh, video message. Also, if you would, in the comment section below, tag a teen. Tag a teen that you know. Just tag them, type their name in the comment section, and tell them, watch this. Hey, good to see you today. Um, let's dive right into it. There are four questions, four questions that you should ask your parents uh, to improve your relationships. The first question is, what obligations do you expect me to fulfill right now? What obligations do you expect me to fulfill right now? I remember as a teenager, uh, many times, I mean, it seemed like the whole time that I was a teenager that my parents and I, were we never saw eye to eye. We bumped heads all the time. We were never on the same page. And it seemed as if they did not want me to have any friends, uh, that they, they didn't let me go out as much, and I didn't have uh, a lot of the uh, freedoms that some of my friends appeared to have then. So the, the first question that you want to ask, and this is when you sit down with your parents, of course, and you interview your mother and your father, and you ask this question, I'll repeat it again, what obligations do you expect me to fulfill right now? What obligations do you expect me to fulfill right now? Number two, with what freedoms do you think I might be trusted right now? With what freedoms do you think I might be trusted right now? And sit back and take notes. Don't don't stop your parents. Don't interrupt them. Say, really? No, just jot it down. You know, write down whatever the answer is to your questions. And I'll tell you why. Uh, the third question that you should ask your parents is, what would need to happen for you to be better able to trust me? What would need to happen for you to better able to trust me? Uh, what would need to happen for you to be better able to trust me. And the fourth question, the fourth question that you should ask your parents is if there ever is a problem that causes you doubt or anger, would you let me know so that I can make things right? I'll say that again. If there ever is a problem that causes you doubt or anger, would you let me know so that I can make things right. So listen to the answer, write it down, and then here's here's what here's what I want you to do. I want you I want you to take it a step further. I want you to then take action, whatever it is that your mom or dad expects from you. I want you to then do it. If it's to clean your room, if it's to do your homework when you get home, whatever that is whatever their expectations are I want you to fulfill those expectations you see oftentimes you know as 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 young people I remember when I was much younger when I was a teenager I I wanted my parents to understand me I just felt like you know they need to get me first they need to understand where I'm coming from first or they need to understand why I, I want to wear that or why I want to go there um, but but I realized that the the secret is this when you f try to understand them, see, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Seek first to understand them, then to be understood. So instead of trying to get your parents to understand your way of doing things or your, the reason why you want to buy that outfit or the reason why you want to uh, hang around that person or the reason why you want to go out on Saturday night, it's, it's it's important to understand okay why why do they want me to do this and what are their expectations and then you try to fulfill their expectations because when you do you'll have more freedoms your parents will trust you more they'll they'll trust you to make the right choices and they won't have to make those choices for you you see what i'm saying so go back over these four questions 
read the answers, and then ask your parents for clarification. So if you need clarification on any one of these questions that you've asked your parents, then you dig deeper. You say, well, mom, can, can you share an example of that? Uh, or dad, can you share an, an, an example of what I can do uh, for you to trust me more? You see what I'm saying? I hope this makes sense. If you're a parent, please type below, I agree. And if you're a teen, please let me know that this makes sense. You can type yes right now in the comment section. So again, for those of you who are watching, if you are a teen or if you know a teen, please tag their names in the comment section below and type, please watch this. Please watch this. All right, so I got to go, guys. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Again, my name is Nick Zizi. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I've got a free resource for you as a teenager. It is loaded with tips and strategies to help accelerate your success. And if you would, just type below in the comment section, please send me my ebook. Please send the ebook. Please send the ebook, and then what I'll do is I'll reply to your comment with the link to where you can get your free ebook. It is loaded with uh, 30, actually 30 pr proven tips and strategies to help you ace school and life. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you again for watching. My name again is Nick Zizi from UnleashYourZebra.com. God bless you. I hope you receive value from this. Please let me know below, comment below. And if there if there are any other questions that you would uh, you think are beneficial that would be good to ask, please type that in the comment section as well. God bless. Oh, I forgot to say thank you for liking this video, commenting, commenting and also sharing it as well. I almost forgot to say that. Well, thank you again. Thank you in advance for doing that. Be blessed.